Space check. Windows down. Items new. Hello and welcome. My name is Keith, and I am the YouTuber Blind Programmer. I am. I want to welcome you to this tutorial series. This is the introduction for this series. I am going to basically be showing you my experience as a programmer and where I kind of got started after I played around with some HTML and this is not by no means I mean I hope that you learn from this but I am creating this to like I said basically share my experience with the tools that I use and some of the things I've had to overcome and um, why I enjoy uh, programming so um, for this introduction I just want to basically tell you that we're going to be working with Python we're going to start with from um, downloading it to your computer to putting it in the path and making sure that you're able to actually write your first program and um, I'm going to try to make it as basic as possible I'm also going to give links to source code and things like that so you can see how I wrote everything and um, the text editor is a big deal too that's one that I had trouble finding one that works well with Python because as you'll learn Python is delimited by uh, spacing rather than semicolon which is normally uh, the majority of the languages you come across will be delimited by um, semicolon so I had to find a text editor that gave me the ability to keep up with these indentions and also let me know when the line was being indented and uh, that was a big deal so um, here what, all I'm gonna show you right now is a quick little hello world code with Python so you can see how it outputs through my screen reader as well as how uh, my screen reader interacts with the text editor that I'm using so right now I'm going to go to my YouTube folder. And I'm actually going to slow this screen reader down. Um, let's see. I will slower, slower, slower. Just slow it down like that. Light slow log in. Select from light slow log in. So in here I'm going to create a simple folder or a file. Control space. Applications, properties, R, do sub menu, the enter, folder, F. Just going to be a text document. Menus, YouTube, and I'm going to name it YouTube. YouTube, period. Dot pi. And that dot py extension is a big deal. Um, that's how the computer recognizes what file it needs to locate to, or what program it needs to locate to run this. So I'm going to hit enter on that. I enter, rename dialog. If you change a file name extension, the file might become unusable. Are you sure? Now you're going to hear this every time you change a file name extension. That's okay. If you know that what you're changing to, changing it to is what you need, I'm going to hit okay. Enter, YouTube, items, new, multi. All right, so now I'm going to read my current line. YouTube.py, nine slash. And you can hear we've created our folder. So here's where um, I'm going to open this folder or this file up in Notepad. Applications, context menu. My applications key. I'm gonna. H. Microsoft Visual Studio Notepad. Notepad plus plus. Notepad plus plus. Enter. Leaving menus. YouTube. Items. New multi select list. Okay, now I'm gonna read my title bar. Title is C colon backslash zam backslash dot backslash YouTube backslash YouTube dot pi dash Notepad plus plus. And you can hear it. I'm gonna slow it slower, down. Slower, slower. Hear it again. Title is C colon backslash zam backslash dot backslash YouTube backslash YouTube dot pi dash Notepad plus plus. And it basically just tells me the the complete. Um, file address to the for this file, and um, whenever you open it in Notepad plus plus, Notepad plus plus opens basically itself inside of the folder you're in. So the files files are accessible when you need them, and you can also open multiple files inside of Notepad plus plus. So just to show you a simple hello world, I am going to um. Simply in the text editor, I'm going to type print. T R I N T. And then I'm going to do left parentheses, right parentheses. Print right parent. All right. So inside of these parentheses, right parent. I'm going to put in quotations. Quote, 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 quote. And I'm going to write. H E L O O O O L E. If I can spell H it. H E L L O. Hello. Hello. W O R L D. World. Exclaim. And then I'm going to save control it. Control S. With a control S. Now what I'm going to do is the Notepad plus plus. You can. There's two ways you can do this. You can open it from uh, the command line, and then you can just uh, change the directory of the command line. 
and I will be telling you all about this throughout the tutorial so don't think that I'm leaving anybody behind with this first video so um, but in notepad I can simply hit the alt key to go to my um, toolbar up top menu bar application menu file all right I'm in the file I can down arrow through the file to menu here. Control, open dot, dot, dot. Open, open, containing, open folders. containing folder and then Explorer e. you want to right arrow on that it opens up the menu and you first thing you hear is Explorer. Explorer. I want to down arrow CMD, C. and it says CMD that's for my uh, command prompt. I'm going to hit enter on that. Enter. Leaving menu. Print left parent quote. Hello. Now I'm going to read my current line. Let's see the title. C colon backslash windows backslash system 32 back slower slower. Slow it down. Slower. C colon backslash windows backslash system 32 backslash CMD dot X. So we got, it, it, it tells you that we've opened up the command prompt and the title of the command prompt. And then what we're going to do is read our current line. C colon backslash zam backslash docs backslash YouTube creator. All right, now again, you hear that um, address for the where we're, what directory we're in. So in here, I'm going to type Python. Python. And then I'm going to type YouTube. YouTube dot theory. pi, which is our file name. So I type Python space YouTube dot pi. I'm gonna hit enter on that and listen. Pi enter. Hello world. C colon backslash. All right, and you you can hear it say hello world, um, and that's basically it running that program. So that is a, just a quick um, overview of what we're gonna be messing around with. I will show you step by step like I said how to install notepad plus plus and Python I'm also going to show you how to set up the settings for notepad plus plus let me show you what I mean tab, C, so I'm gonna control a to select everything in this file Land. and delete it and then you can hear I'm back in my youtube.py and the notepad plus plus and in here I'm just gonna write um, name N -A -N -E. Name equals, equals quote, quote. Um, key. -E quote. All right, I'm gonna get on my next line with the enter key. Quote, key quote, enter. And then I'm gonna say, I -F. I'm just gonna write a conditional, and you'll I'll teach you about these as well. If, if. name N -A -M -E. name equals equals, equals, equals which base. is an, uh, an an comparison operator to make sure that it's equal to what I'm about to type. So if it equals quote quote K -E -I -T -H. key quote, quote and then at the end of this, we put a colon. Quote, key, quote, colon. And here's what I'm talking about. As soon as I hit enter, enter. it's going to indent my line. Now, if I read the current line, you will hear blank. Blank. a blank. But if I go up one line, Four spaces, if name equals, equals, quote, you hear it tell me how many spaces are in front of this. Blank. Now, I know that I'm in a and blank, and I know I just created this new line. So I'm going to start typing on the new line. And I'm going to say print. -E, print left um, apostrophe. Apostrophe. Quote, quote name is Keith. Quote, quote, and then right parent right to close that. And then I'm going to hit the enter, enter key. And now when I up arrow, print left parent quote if name equals equals quote Keith quote colon. Print left parent quote name is Keith four spaces. Print if name equals equals print left parent quote name is Keith quote right. And oh. hit the tab key at the very beginning. Tab eight spaces. Print left parent quote name is Keith quote right parent. So now you can hear it says eight spaces because see the problem with Python is is after four spaces if name equals equals quote key, quote colon you write a conditional or um, any type of um, loops you if you're running code inside of something it has to be indented if it's not it will read on the same line as the code that is not so eight spaces print left there you can hear that four spaces if name equals equals quote, key, quote, our conditional is four spaces when I down arrow to hear what will happen if the conditional is true eight spaces print left there quote name is key, quote. it says eight spaces and then tells you what I wrote so I'm gonna hit save on this control it and I'm gonna come back over my alt tab back to my command prompt alt tab task switching see colon backslash windows backslash system 30 and you can hear it tell me again so I right here all I have to do is up arrow one time see colon backslash zam backslash docs backslash youtube greater python youtube dot pi and Python YouTube.py, you can hear that's what I typed. So I'm gonna hit enter on that again and you can listen to it. Enter name is Keith. C colon backslash zam back. And you can hear it says name is Keith. So that means that it ran that conditional. If the name is equal to Keith, then um, tell us the name is Keith. So that is Notepad Plus Plus on and I will show you how I made those changes for it to fit my needs. I will also um, be starting you from the beginning with python all the way from installing it in the next tutorial so yeah so we'll be installing python and 
Notepad++ in the next tutorial. So um, thank you very much. If you like this video, like, and if you have any feedback, feedback, please leave me a comment and let me know. Um, and like I said, if you want to see more, subscribe and um, thank you for watching. You have a good one. Alt tab. See, call back. Alt tab. YouTube. Alt tab. Ops 21. Stop recording.